in India, there are about 6,000 to 7,000 people completing residency in general surgery in one year. Half of them are MS and about half of them are DNB residents. So with so many people coming out, what are the job options and what are the future prospects? What can one do? One can either join the government hospitals as a senior resident, work for a few years, get promoted to assistant professor, associate professor, become a professor. One can uh, go for private practice in private hospitals, do their own clinic, uh, set up their own hospital as a general surgeon, or you can do fellowship and various courses and uh, and the most sought after is the MCH. So with so many people coming out and after completing post-graduation, there's a pressure to continue working. You cannot just sit at home like after MBBS. Some people are preparing. Some people are sitting at home for about a year or two after general surgery, residency and preparing, but most will not want to do that. So. This video is uh, about the competitive competitiveness of this, these exams. So in this video, I'll take up plastic surgery as the topic. The results of NEET SS exam 2019 plastic surgery. Since a couple of years, for NEET SS exam, one can give the exam for only two specialty. Let's say I give, I, I choose plastic surgery, I can choose another subject like neurosurgery and I'll apply for these two and I cannot take up gastrosurgery, oncosurgery or pediatric surgery, whatever my rank may be. So it is specialty based exam. The question paper will have 100 questions, multiple choice questions. 60 will be on that particular specialty and 40 will be general surgery. I think negative marking is there for which I'll uh, confirm and make a separate video on that. To check out the total number of MCH seats for plastic surgery, one can go to the MCI website. For that, type MCI space courses in Google search. And the first option is, the first result that you get in that search result is the MCI website page of colleges, colleges and courses. In the courses, you can select MCH plastic and reconstructive surgery, oblique plastic surgery. That will show 68 colleges in total offering 221 seats whereas if you uh, choose the option mch plastic and reconstructive surgery the other option was mch plastic surgery oblique plastic and reconstructive surgery the second option is mch plastic and reconstructive surgery i think these there are two different uh, options given because some colleges have the department is plastic surgery. Some colleges have the same department as plastic and reconstructive surgery. So it's because of the varying names of the specialty. The other option will show 14 colleges offering 55 seats. So for MCH, this is including AIMS and uh, JIPMER and all. There's a total of 82 colleges offering 276 seats of MCH plastic surgery. On top of this, there will be some DNB seats as well, the number of which I'm not aware. There, might, there must be around 100 to 200 seats. So let's take a look at the scores attained by the candidates. So since a couple of years, the exam is uh, specialty wise. A person can apply for only two specialty. Like if I apply for plastic surgery, and choose to apply for another subject let's say i choose gastro surgery so whatever rank i get in plastic surgery i can choose only plastic surgery whatever rank i get in gastro surgery i can choose only gastro surgery it's not like i get first rank so i can choose whatever subject so it's specialty the exam is specialty wise so the exam is for a sc total score of 400 in this exam of total 400 score the candidate who got merit position one that is rank one in plastic surgery had a score of 282 out of 400 that is 70.5 percent only i'm not being uh, arrogant here i don't mean to say i can score this much but uh, compared to the results of gastro surgery oncology urology 282 out of 400 is very less 
The person who got rank 2 had a score of 276, that is 69%. In this page, I will list out the scores of rank 1 to 10. So rank 10 had a score of 257, that is 64.25%. Look at the scores. Rank 1 has 282, rank 10 has 257. So the competition is not very tight in this range of ranks. Then the person who had rank 20 had a score of 247, that is 61.75%. Rank 30 had a score of 235, rank 40 had a score of 229, rank 50 had a score of 226, that is 56.5%. Rank 60 had a score of 223, rank 70 had a score of 220, rank 80 had a score of 215, and rank 90 had a score of 211, rank 100 had a score of 206, that is 51.5 percent. The person who got rank 200 is, has got a score of 187, the person who got a score of rank of 300 had a score of 172, the person who had rank 400 had a score of 160 that is 40% according to my calculation if I find, uh, find out the 58th percentile uh, in this score uh, the 58th percentile will be how much uh, 150 150 out of 400 so that is 37.5 percent score the total number of candidates in 2009 applying for plastic surgery MCH was 940 the person who got the last merit position, 940 rank, uh, though not qualified, his score, his or her score was 6.25%. So according to this analysis of NEAT SS plastic surgery result of 2019, I feel that only 940 people are applying for plastic surgery. So the competition is not very tough if you want to pursue plastic surgery. Though it is not the most sought after course at present but if you're passionate about it if your region is good for plastic surgery practice it's definitely a good choice with low competitive rate and uh, with some effort if you study well I think we can uh, one can score a very uh, one can get a very nice rank in the results of subjects like oncosurgery, gastrosurgery, urology. Most of the top ranks are above 300 score, that is more than 75% score. So it's very competitive over there and more than 2,000 to 3,000 people are applying in those exams. So this is it. This is the analysis of NEAT 2019 Super Speciality Exam for Plastic Surgery.